There have been many wonderful, weird, stylish and iconic pro team jerseys over the years, and we've all got our own personal favourites. But what about the pros themselves? Andre, what is your favourite ever pro team jersey? Um, pretty hard to say. Um, uh, I would like to take the jersey of Banesto because this is uh, really one uh, jersey which was uh, really a long time in the bunch and uh, yeah, quite authentic. In, in Duran, those kind of guys, it's a pretty, yeah, pretty cool jersey. That's for sure, yeah. Okay, Ben, what is your favourite ever pro team kit? I think the favourite ever has got to be uh, the Mop High kit, the old one. When I was a young boy growing up and seeing that, it's pretty iconic. That is an utter classic without a shadow of a doubt. Good choice. Okay, Leo, what was your favourite ever pro team kit? Well, obviously it has to be this one uh, since no one else has it yet. So, yeah. Fair enough. It is pretty striking. Must be. It's nice and simple. A few colours, but yeah, I think that will stand out in the peloton. Yeah, I think so. It's... Everyone always looks for the new stuff and uh, it always draws attention. Okay, what about a retro one? What about, let's go back a few years, what about your favourite retro jersey? Yeah, I actually think the, the Lampre jersey has to be right up there from last year. The, the pink colours, it always stood, really stood out and uh, yeah, they've always been there in history. So yeah, it's one of the jerseys I learned seeing on TV when I, when I started watching cycling. Nice one, thanks very much. I know it sounds really, <laughs> really, uh, yeah. I, I love, I love this jersey. It's, um, it's, it's just plain. It's retro. It's simple, easy to read. Uh, always at the end of the season, I get nervous, hoping that they don't change it. And I hear we have the same jersey, so it's good. I love it, and um, yeah, it's. I think it's the best jersey out there. I think a lot of people would agree. A blend of now and also the past. So, your favourite ever pro team kit of all time. Uh, the first one what comes into my mind is the PDM kit. I was like uh, 88, 89 and I was like 7, 8 years old, started to watch the Tour de France and then uh, Rokes and Tönes, uh, those two Dutch uh, climbers, they raced it in the mountains and uh, for sure they won the mountain jersey and the, and the combination won uh, th those years. So they were not racing it very much but I, I remember that kit is iconic in, in Dutch cycling also in 90 or 91. Uh, Eric Broeking got third in the Tour de France on, in that kit. And it was the first like minimalistic kit, I think, in pro cycling. I think uh, it was a nice kit, yeah. Agreed. Love that kit as well. Nice one. Cheers. Okay, Jack, what's your favourite ever pro team kit of all time? I have to say the edX kit of last year. Political. What about retro? Full retro. Do, I mean, it is. It's cut. It is. Not, I, do like, I do like the simplicity the of, of, of the is. Yeah, look, it is definitely, that's, I'd say fuchsia. I'll go with fuchsia. A bit more manly, isn't it? Yeah, a bit more masculine than pink. <laughs> <laughs> Last year's edX kit was very nice. Yeah. Good answer. Okay, Marcel, so what's your favourite ever pro team kit of all time? Um, uh, it's always hard to choose. Uh, you know, from personal experience and also memories, I would say one of my favourite kits was uh, the one from uh, Giant Shimano with a, with a white, blue and uh, black colour in it. I really liked it and uh, of course in that year when I wore it I also uh, uh, had great success together with the team. So um, yeah, uh, for me that makes a good combination. Good stuff, thanks very much. Thank you, you're welcome. Uh, uh, ever. Yeah. I really like the kits from, from decades ago, like the Rally kit or uh, Multani kit. Uh, now it's really uh, hip again. <laughs> Yeah, I do like the vintage retro kits. I think for me they're, they're, the, they're the most iconic, perhaps. I think so, yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, Balka, what's your favourite protein jersey of all time? Uh, I only bought one jersey in my, in my life, a uh, team jersey, and that's the, uh, the, the Raubank jersey, of course, as a Dutch rider, Dutch team. Uh, yeah, it was, was one of the biggest teams in, uh, in that time, and uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty, pretty iconic jersey. Of course, in the peloton for so long as well. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, what is it, 20, 20 years maybe, more or less, uh, or 25? No, 15 years, uh, yeah. Well. But anyway, uh, yeah, for me as a young rider, you're, as a Dutch rider, you're always looking up to, to this team. And, and yeah, one day I was also part of it, so that, that was nice. Fantastic, thanks very much. Bernie, what's your favourite ever team kit of all time? I think it's uh, Panesto, an e Panesto. Uh, it's just because uh, Indurain used to be like my role model and uh, the guy when I really started watching the Tour de France and it just dominated everything and just being, yeah, the chief of the peloton. And it's just, uh, 
yeah, it was good, good to watch him. And I uh, just from that point on, I enjoyed. Yeah, I liked the jersey, and I think it was one of the my first winter jacket I bought was an Ivan Esther one. Favorite pro team kit of all time? Uh, for me, I think it's the white Cervelo kit. You know, back in 2009, I think that was pretty cool. You know, it was kind of. I think it's, and it's kind of like a new brand of jerseys came in, wasn't it? They all look the same. And Pete, favourite pro team kit of all time? Uh, I think there's a lot out there, sort of late 90s, early 2000s. Um, <laughs> maybe Fasa Bortolo was a good one. Nice and simple. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. and also the bikes, Pinarello, Campag, Boras, hard to beat. Oh, Wayne, favourite team kit of all time? Hargrove Cycles. Yeah. An utter <laughs> classic. Well, that's what the pros had to say. What about your favourite team jersey all time? Leave a comment down below. Oh, if you're asking, my favourite pro team jersey of all time has to be the Lavi Claire jersey as worn by Greg LeMond and Bernardino in the late 1980s. An absolute stone cold classic. Anyway, if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, you can do so by clicking on the globe. It's absolutely free. Now for another Ask the Pros, where we ask them who their ultimate hero was, click just down here, and for me, versus Mark Cavendish in a Lego face-off, click just up here.